Hello, today's video is, as you can see, HOSC's MB2703 CRM2013 Customization and Configuration Quick Fire Security Questions. Um, these questions are not like the exam questions because they're either they just yes or no, true or false. Um, but what they are, they're meant to sort of test you quickly to uh, test your knowledge and whether the, the questions are true or false. So they're just kind of good ones to kind of build up your knowledge of tiny bits. Um, and all, all, all questions are good practicing. Right, so let's crack on. The answer is blue is true, red is false. So question one, each business unit has a default team of the same name. The answer is true. Next question. Primary key fields can be audited. So I'm just going to give you a few seconds each time to get it right or wrong. False, you cannot audit. So these would be like account ID, contact ID, the primary key field on each entity, you cannot audit. Only security roles in the root business unit can be added to a solution. Answer, true. So uh, that standard explanation there, don't really need to go into detail, but any security roles below the business root business unit can't be added to a solution. So, I mean, most of the time people don't really add them below there. You cannot rename the root business unit, true or false. The answer is false, of course. It is the root of all goodness. Disabling a business unit will deactivate the records in the business unit. True or false? False. It won't deactivate the records. It will deactivate or will disable the users and they won't be able to log in. I'm not sure if disable is the right idea. But the users won't be able to log in. Access teams can be assigned security roles. False. Access teams are only used for sharing records. Security roles are linked with business units. It is true. You can only apply the security roles to a user with the security roles that are in that business unit. You cannot share dashboards. False, you can share them. An access team can be converted to an owner team. False, you cannot convert an access team to an owner team. You cannot copy the system administrator security role. That's a lie, you can. Copy <laughs> that one's wrong. You can copy the system administrator security role, uh, but it'll only be a snapshot, it won't be the magical system administrator security role. You cannot share records to teams. That is false. You can, of course, share records to teams, they are the same functionality as users. You can add users to a business unit default team. True or false? False. The default teams for business units are managed by CRM automatically. You can only delete disabled business units. This is true. You have to disable a business unit before you can delete it. At least one user must have the system administrator role. True. And if you try to remove that last, remove the system administrator role when there's only one left, it won't allow you. You can only delete users when their records are disabled. 
false, you can't delete users in CRM. System administrator roles automatically get access to all entities. This is indeed true. The system administrator role is all powerful and a magic role. Access teams can own records. False. I had that before. But access teams cannot own records. They're only used for sharing records, access to records, or other some other privileges. Standard and custom fields can have field level security. Tricky one. True or false? It is false. Only custom fields can have field level security. Teams can be assigned security roles. Should be owner teams can be assigned security roles. The answer is true. Owner teams can be assigned security roles. Users can be assigned security roles in other business units. That is indeed false. You can only have security roles within the business unit the user is assigned to. Disabled users still use a CRM license. This is false. They do not use a CRM license. And you can use this functionality to kind of manage the number of licenses you are using by disabling certain users, then enabling them so you kind of hit, reach your limit of licenses. You can share records to a business unit default teams. Ooh, tricky. The answer is true you can indeed this is a useful way to share records to the whole business unit members and that one's there twice 24 you can disable the root business unit this is false you cannot disable him you can rename an access team false access team names are controlled by CRM. You can rename the description, but not the access team name. There's a GUI, that's why. You can share charts, views, and dashboards. Can you? Can you? Yes, you can. You cannot delete the system administrator field level security profile. You cannot delete, it is true. It's a special CRM controlled piece of functionality that you cannot touch. Only users can own records. That is of course false. Teams can own them as well. You cannot delete this system. <laughs> Another duplicate. True. Owner team can be converted to an access team. True, you can convert an owner team to an access team, although I'm not sure why you would. <laughs>